Hey, what's up? It's Matt here to empower your inner video creator. In this video, we're going to be learning about camera basics, specifically shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Now, this topic might seem boring, but they are essential for any video creator because these settings affect the look of your video. So let's get started. Shutter speed determines how long your camera sensor is exposed to light. So when I'm shooting video, I can change my shutter speed to anywhere from 1 30th of a second all the way up to say 1 1 25th of a second. Let's see what my footage looks like at 1 30th of a second. As you can see, there's some motion blur happening, but if I turn my shutter speed up to 1 1 25th of a second, then you're going to notice less motion blur. Now another camera setting you can change is aperture. So aperture changes the size of the iris ring in your lens. This tiny hole inside your lens determines how much light is let inside of your camera. What this also can do is change the depth of field, which refers to how much or how little is in focus. The aperture is measured by a number called f-stop. A lower f-stop will increase the size of the opening in your lens and will decrease the size of your depth of field, making your image darker. Whereas a higher f-stop number will shrink down the size of your lens iris and increase the depth of field in your video, making it brighter. Let me show you a better example. The last camera setting you need to know is ISO. ISO electronically controls how sensitive your camera sensor is to light. The lower your ISO, the less sensitive your camera will be, and the higher your ISO, the more sensitive it'll be. Usually, you will only want to increase your ISO when you're shooting in darker places. Here's an example of ISO at 100. And here's an example of ISO at 3200. And an extra tip is white balance. White balance basically means how the camera determines what is white. So if you shoot inside and the lighting has got a warm look to it, you want your camera to match that warm light so that your whites look white, your blacks look black, and your grays look gray. So when you're shooting indoors, a good rule of thumb is to set your white balance at 3200. And when it's outdoors or a blue overcast day, set it at 5600. That way your shots won't look so blue or so orange. Once you get experienced enough, then you can just do it by eye. So now that you know what each camera setting does, you need to know how they work together. It's important to adjust your camera settings so that your exposure is balanced. You don't want your image to be too dark and you don't want your image to be too bright. You will need shutter speed, aperture, and ISO to work together so that you can get an even exposure. If you end up setting your shutter speed higher, then you gotta adjust your aperture and ISO so that you can balance your image. If you change your shutter speed, then you're gonna have to adjust either your aperture or your ISO so that you can get a balanced exposure. This might mean setting your ISO lower or increasing the f-stop on your aperture. Here's a good rule to follow. When you're shooting a video, you want your shutter speed to be double what your frame rate is. So right now we're shooting at 24 frames per second. So changing your shutter speed to 1 50th of a second is a good spot. Now you gotta adjust your aperture. Do you want a deep depth of field or a shallow depth of field? In this case, I'm gonna go with a shallow depth of field because I'm gonna be filming JJ and I have this background behind her, but I don't want people to focus on it. I want people to focus on JJ's face. So if I go with a shallow depth of field, which means a lower f-stop number, I can actually blur the background. Now I can adjust my ISO. I recommend keeping your ISO number as low as you can go. When you increase your ISO, it can bring grain into your shot, which isn't the best look if you want a nice clean image. All of this, of course, is going to depend on the story you're trying to tell. That's the basics for your camera settings. Understanding these settings is crucial for all video creators, both longtime pros and those of you who are just starting out. So practice. Next time you go out, make tweaks and adjustments and see what kind of looks you come up with. If you need a powerful but simple video editor, then you can try Filmora for free by clicking in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.